It's John Bashaw here, president of the NWNA. Um, hello to those of you who are in beautiful Southwest Florida. Hello to those of you who are uh, snowbirds and living up north in the freezing temperature and in the snow. Today, I wanna to do something a little different. I wanna show you a video of, of an idea that I presented to the Cape Coral Youth Council last week. And it's the idea simply is, um, we've got a really good location in the Northwest for a boardwalk to go from Crystal Lake up to the city owned property on Charlotte Harbor. Uh, but before I show you the video, um, and I'll talk through the video and help you understand what it's all about. But before I do that, I wanna show you a quote that's been very useful to me as I'm trying to implement change both in my working career and also in the NWNA. And the quote is um, from uh, Maurice Maeterlinck, who was a, a Belgian poet. And um, let's take a look at that quote. So the quote is at every crossroad on the way that leads to the future, each progressive spirit is opposed by a thousand men appointed to guard the past. And the things those thousand men say who are appointed to guard the past are, oh, we've tried that before, or why would you wanna do something like that? Or there are 17 state agencies that have to approve something like that. It'll never happen. So um, just you know, in general, change is really difficult to implement. And this quote has just been useful to me as a good reminder that it's important to stay focused on the end goal and all the negativity that comes along with change should really just be ignored because it's negative energy. All right, let's talk about the Youth Council Nature Walk. And the Youth Council Nature Walk is uh, something that I presented to the Youth Council uh, two weeks ago. And I would like their participation and support on this project. Um, I'm gonna be presenting to them again. They asked for a little more information um, in two weeks, but um, I think it's appropriate that I share this with you so that you have an idea of some of the projects that the NWNA is working on. So let's, uh, let's look at this video of the Youth Council Nature Walk. So the Youth Council Nature Walk um, is a boardwalk and it'll go from Crystal Lake Park all the way to the city owned property on Charlotte Harbor. And the location of the Youth Council Nature Walk is in the upper left quadrant of Cape Coral in Northwest Cape Coral. So here's the location. Uh, it's located at the end of Calusa Parkway. This is the uh, current topography of Crystal Lake and also, let's hold the video here for a minute. Um, this is a, a conceptual diagram of Crystal Lake Park. And this was developed uh, as part of the GoBond project. And as you know, there are seven neighborhood parks in the GoBond. This is one of them, Crystal Lake is one of them. And in the upper left corner of this concept diagram is actually a, a Gulf access canal that's connected to the spreader. And on that canal, on that finger canal, there's going to be a boat launch and a kayak launch. And the, the the north end of that canal would be a great place to start the nature walk. So the nature walk starts there. Uh, it's 1,700 feet in length, and it goes across state property and city-owned property. Let's hold the, the video there for just a minute. So the squiggly line is the path that the boardwalk would follow. The triangular property that is on the upper left or in the upper left corner, that's actually city owned property. That's the property of Cape Coral. The, that's your property actually, if you're a taxpayer in the city of Cape Coral. And the other, uh, the right side of that squiggly line goes across state park land. So it's state owned property that's designated as park. So if you just kind of lock onto this path, Imagine this is a boardwalk and you're walking from Crystal Lake Park from the boat launch all the way to Charlotte Harbor. Okay, let's keep going. Let's hold this. Um, one of the questions that the Youth Council asked me was, what does the boardwalk look like? And I don't know for sure. I mean, that's part of the project uh, that needs to be worked out, but potentially it could look like 
the boardwalk that's at Rotary Park. And I think there's another shot a little further in the video. Yeah, here it is. Not all of the boardwalk at Rotary Park has a, a, a rail on the side of it, a protective rail. Um, so I don't know exactly what it would look like, but at Charlotte Harbor, I imagine there will be potentially would be some sort of a observation platform where you could walk out there and watch the sunset or have a picnic or fish or do whatever you'd like to do, observe the wildlife. Um, speaking of the wildlife, there actually is a lot here um, in, in this quadrant of Cape Coral in the upper left quadrant. Um, let's move the video along. This is the current topography. And in this shot, there's an eagle. We're, we're kind of following the path that we would follow. We're heading toward Charlotte Harbor. That body of water ahead of you there is Charlotte Harbor. This shot, you can see there are some wild pigs. There's a white one in there and there's a couple black ones. And we're working our way. So 1700 feet is not a terribly long walk, but I think it's long enough to make it worthwhile. And this is the path beginning again, somewhere near the boat launch at Crystal Lake Park and ending at Charlotte Harbor. Now, this is conceptual and these are the kind of things that, um, you know, when some people look at these ideas, they say, well, we've thought of that before or that's really difficult. You know, they're the thousand men that we talked about in the quote. But I think this is, something that we deserve. And certainly a really important part of this boardwalk is getting residents input. So part of the project that needs to be developed yet, and, and again, it's conceptual, part of the project includes soliciting input from local residents and also from residents citywide on what sort of things they might like to see on the boardwalk, what sort of problems might be there, and um, I thought it was important that you had a chance to take a look at this. In general, I'm excited about these kind of things. I think there aren't nearly enough of these sort of things in the Northwest. And um, the Northwest Cape Neighborhood Association is working on those sort of projects. So that's really it for today. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you on a project that we're working on. And I'll see you again next week. Thanks, everybody.